historic match at the Olympic Stadium in Tokyo, and it's underway as Matt Giddo makes the kickoff. Andrew Hawes lighting this up for the All Blacks. Oh, he's put it down, but Sivi Vatu tidies up nicely behind him, and the All Blacks should get the ball back. It's there for Jimmy Cowan, and Dan Carter. No, Cowan kicks himself, and uh, lining this up is Adam Ashley Cooper across into centre field, and oh, I think Rocky Elson. Tom Donnelly takes it in. Now Cowan heaves it off to Carter having a go. Big defence on him. Ran into a gap and was absolutely nailed. Now Cowan slings it wide. On the inside it goes. Here's Donnelly. Molly Aina turns it back. McCaw. Sivi Vatu. Beautiful hands. And uh, Sidovini Sivi Vatu. Great try. Great team try. What they're doing is they're switching their plays effectively one side to the other and really stretching that Australian defence. So in the end, they just simply ran out of numbers. And again, it was that long pass from Jimmy Cowan that just got them on the outside. Lovely quick hands from McCaw there to Donnelly. Mullion goes hard at the line and McCaw features twice. Just lovely catch and pass. And great try. And the All Blacks have it there for, for Cowan to punch it high into the Tokyo sky. Here's Sibi Vato. Oh, dear. Oh, that's terrible. And this might even be yellow card, I think. I don't think he was even looking. And I think he might get a card. He's, he's disappointed in himself, I think. He's straight away very apologetic. He's not that type of player, but I think he did right in his way. Listen to the report. Yep. Reaching into the pocket. There's no other option in an instance like that. You can't afford to play a player when he's in the air. He knew straight away, I think. I just have a look. Yeah, just the timing's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, it is terrible. And, and to be fair, um, it doesn't look like he's looking at the ball either. He's just gone in. No. Recklessly. I was right in line with that, Justin. And he, he was intent on one thing only, and that was making the hit wasn't even looking at the ball it's really willing there at the tackle ball as Guinea again Palu dragged down by McCaw pops back again for Guinea now they get it wide Ghetto Ghetto Nonu makes a good tackle had to be made as well they're only 10 meters away here as Guinea goes wide that's with Pocock and he uh, takes himself hard towards the All Black defence. They've got him up off the ground, though, the All Blacks. Now, this might help the cause a bit, although it looks like it's on the Wallaby side again. Genia coming this near side. Goes wide here for Peter Hines. Hines for the corner. I don't think so. The All Blacks came in bulk. Cowan, Thompson, Woodcock might have been there. Mully Aina. I've got a feeling he's just come up short. Gone. This might be interesting. Ooh. What do you reckon? Tighter than what it initially looked. Now, the flag is not affected these days, is it? No, it's in play, the flag. Now, did he, he get it to the line? I wonder whether he's grounded it short. <laughs> and now the Wallabies are scrambling to clear this, and here's Sivibatu again. This time he spins it wide. Not a good pass. Muli Aina had to stop to grab it. And then he cut through. Delivered the pass off to Carter. And they're inside the 22. Donnelly delivers up to Sivi Vatu. Who's getting involved now that he's been missing for 10 minutes. McCaw for Jane. Corey Jane. Pops the pass beautifully to Smith. Smith. Conrad Smith. And in he goes. Here we'll see the work from Corey Jane. He just goes on the outside tracks two defenders and he's got he's got yellow jerseys all around him conrad smith deceptive runner strong shrugs them off great try yes beautifully done by those two players Corey jane after this was left limping i'm not sure that he's uh, he looks okay as we see conrad smith in he goes this will be the first time since 1962 that they've achieved that here's manonu doesn't often put boot to ball but uh, way downfield it goes as far as Adam Ashley Cooper. 
running the ball back. Oh, he stepped his way through a few of them. Nice run here by Adam Ashley Cooper. Gets rid of another one. Still going. Finally taken to ground after a run of about 30 metres. And up goes the flag. Well, he started that with 29 players in front of him. And very nearly went all the way. Across to Elsom. Now Robinson. And the loose head prop takes it to the next setup. And it's uh, been lost forward. The All Blacks are going to win this. And it was a penalty, in fact, to the All Blacks, so they don't need to do too much other than kick it out. And there's a bit of a bust up here. Well, they'll all be shaking hands in a minute. Well, less than a minute. In fact, they're almost starting now. Looks like George Smith has caught one. So it's a penalty, and all it needs now is for the ball to be kicked out, and they can officially shake hands. So that's what will happen. Jimmy Cowan will just slam it into touch, and the All Blacks have won the game here in Tokyo tonight by 32 points to 19. They were behind at halftime, but they've finished very strongly in the match. Graham Henry will be satisfied with that. And it's a 32-19 result.